It was just a year ago in his sophomore campaign when Clint Carlson made his presence known. Named the MVC All Bench Team, Clint was able to take advantage of mismatches late in the season, including in the MVC title game, pouring in a then career-high 17 points, which landed him on the All-Tournament team. He scored 17 again in the second round of the NCAA Tournament. I just think wherever the mismatch is, he's going to have an ability to take advantage of that because he can stretch the defense by being able to shoot it. He can get offensive rebounds, he can post up, and then one of his best attributes is how well he drives the ball, either to finish or get fouled. And I think when you combine all those things together, it's, he makes for a really tough guard. I've been working hard, um, obviously trying to get stronger in the weight room, uh, trying to become a better leader, finishing with my right hand, driving right instead of just shot faking and going left all the time. But um, so I've been working hard uh, on my perimeter game and on my inside game, and most importantly to me, uh, just my leadership skills, um, trying to be able to lead these young guys um, to get to where we want to go. Clint became a go-to player down the stretch a year ago, often playing in crucial late game minutes. It was because he found a switch that he was able to flip when it was game time. Yeah, some people say I'm a little, I get a little bit angry uh, when I play. And I've always been like that, I guess. It just takes one little thing to make me angry. These guys joke around, um, especially Coach Crawford. They call me the Hulk sometimes. <laughs> when I get a little angry, I, uh, I become a new person. But off the court, I just try to be funny, be relaxed, um, and uh, try to be as nice as I can be. <laughs> yeah, most of the time, I can channel my emotions. Um, there are, they're usually good emotions too, and usually when I get angry I play a little bit better, so I think it's probably a good thing. This year's team will look to Clint to find that switch down the stretch once again. After setting back-to-back -back career highs early in the season, Clint's scoring has tapered off. But there's no question that Clint has the skill set and ability to be a go-to playmaker for you and I once again. The biggest change that happened for him last year was in his mentality. You know, once he got into the rotation a little bit, once he started having some success and our team started playing better, his confidence completely changed. And as, as soon as that confidence uh, started to catch up to, to his ability, we saw a totally different guy. And that's, that happens for guys at different stages. I mean, that's just the reality of what we go through with, uh, with young guys. Uh, but he's at a point now, he's very different today than he was a year ago.